Um, Fiona, you mentioned earlier on about the two great commandments, but you thought we didn't oh, have time to get into that. Do, 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 you, do you want to do that? Lovely president, thank you for remembering. <laughs> I what these notes are for. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we go to Moses 7, go back to Moses 7, um, what is so stunning? And I have read this chapter, I don't know how many times. It was Terrell who was reading it and said, Fiona, look at the two great commandments. So the two greatest commandments are to worship God and to serve your fellow man. But in Moses 7, God is weeping. His grief is because um, in his mind, the commandments should be reversed. His grief is brought to pass because we are not serving each other. Yeah, so it's, is that okay? Yeah, please do. So it, it's in Moses 7, starting with 31, 31 to 33. And this is where for the third time, Enoch says, how is it possible that you're weeping? And the Lord answers and says in verses 32 and 33, well, I gave them the two great commandments, to love me and to love one another. But he reverses the order. Mm -hmm. He says, I've given commandment that they should love one another and, sh and should choose me their father. But behold, they were without affection and hate their own blood. In other words, he's weeping because we've broken the second commandment. Right. And I find that just astounding. And again, it's a reversal of that centuries old tradition where he's all about his glory and honor. And here he's effectively, right, reading between the lines, he's saying, yeah, yeah, they don't love me. I get that. That's okay. But they don't love each other. Yeah. And that that's breaks my heart. Is. And and this and um, this this brings us then to the baptismal covenants articulated in Messiah 18, which are really quite extraordinary. We think they were actually articulated at the waters of baptism. I'm I'm pushing for let's do that again. But the three great commandments are one, to um, carry each other's burdens, to mourn with those who mourn, and to comfort those who stand in need of comfort. That is the great commandment which God is asking us to live. In fact, we as members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints covenant so to do. And what struck me um, it, that, that I realized how important this is that each covenant represents the primary activity of each member of the Godhead. So the God who carries our burdens all through his life into Gethsemane and onto Golgotha is God the Christ. Who God, the God who mourns with us when we mourn is God the Father and the Christ, the God who comforts us when we stand in need of comfort is God the Holy Spirit. And yeah, these I know and these are the these these are the commandments. And, and and King Benjamin says that when you are in the service of your fellow men, that is when you are in the worship of your God. We worship God by how we treat each other. Now we are under covenant to do that. That doesn't mean that there are millions of people in England, all around the world, who are doing precisely the same thing. And so for me, when that wonderful time happens and Christ appears, everybody will go, Oh. It's you. It, it, it's you we were worshipping. I, I, I knew you by another name. It's, I don't know, it's just splendid. Such a good insight. <laughs> really good insight. I'm glad that I, I remembered to, to bring that part up. Thank you. So, thank you for that.